first of all, I think the system in China works for China today under the Chinese circumstances. Secondly, but I it, would Mr. Say, Gao, it, it, it only works if you're prepared to see all of those who dissent locked up, repressed, surveilled, robbed of what we in the West call basic human rights. Allow me to disagree with you again. Why? Because I would say any society everywhere in the world today has some taboo list. It may differ from one country to another. But don't tell me that there is any country that you have freedom of speech in absolute term rather than conditional term, where you have freedom of uh, expression without any conditions to it. No, I would say freedom or human rights all exist, not in the vacuum, but relative to rights and obligations. In China, we have our own freedom, we have our own democracy. It's conditioned to circumstances in China. And in China, there is a short list of red button issues you are not allowed to talk about. For example, Tibet independence, Xinjiang independence, or Hong Kong independence. For example, if anyone wants to declare Hong Kong as a republic of Hong Kong, it will be wiped out immediately. It's not part of the freedom of democracy as we understand in China. But you cannot say that the rest of the system in China is not freedom or human rights. I would make one point. Without empowering the people, you cannot change China from a very backward country to the second largest economy in the world today. And also, don't forget, the Chinese economy is larger than that of the United States today if you use purchasing power parity. Mm. So we are talking about but, revolutionary changes. Right, but the thing is... deny that China has its inner qualities and strengths that maybe some Western countries fail to fully understand. So in the face of some really obviously false narratives and laughable accusations against China, 